something you may not be aware of in the West because you may not ever see them because like the UK, you never see a roadblock unless it's drink drive season or uh, they're doing something relating to pretending they're doing something about the amount of illegal cars on the road. Um, but predominantly, there are very few British cars in that condition anymore due to the drive of the last government for the uh, scrappage scheme. But anyway, in the Philippines, it's very common. The reason they have these is not only for random checks to see if your vehicle is actually roadworthy. Um, I don't think anybody's been stopped for being roadworthy. Um, I've been signaled on a motorbike before for having a... Um, what did I have on the back? I had a child slide, full child slide, and a, a kid's bike. And the guy just sort of just waved me on. He just didn't know what to say. A lot of the time, these are there for political reasons. When the um, last election was won by Aquino, they started the anti... Uh, I think they call it Wang Wang, which is basically vehicles that were abusing uh, powers like with their flashing lights and siren when they're just using them for personal view, uh, use. So Aquino had them pulled over and had all, all the equipment ripped out. He had the flashing lights gone and he had their sirens ripped out because I think that's why it's called Wang Wang because of the sort of siren noise. Um, but that was one of the anti things that they do. Election times, they do it for the guns. Um, because people do get killed on a regular basis at election time. Now, the other side is robberies. Well, robberies and assassinations. Because what you have is, when you have an assassination or robbery, it is of, often a motorcyclist with a passenger on the back. The passenger may have an automatic uh, machine pistol or just a basic pistol whatever. but either way there'll be a concealed weapon that's why it's not a rifle because there's no way to put it um, so you will actually have to be very vigilant with this because PMP which is the Philippine National Police do take it very very serious what you have to be aware of is when you come up to a roadblock if you run it they actually have a policeman further down that will put you down um, they wouldn't think twice. They they normally got an M16 or M4 carbine. If you run the roadblock, you've got a good risk of being put put into the tarmac. <laughs> um, not worth the risk. And most of the time, foreigners are legal anyway. <laughs> Probably some of the few people that are. Um, but I haven't had any problems with roadblocks. The biggest concern is, as you can see in this picture, this way, um, it's a sign. Now, when you go down a road in total darkness, you may not see this sign, which is where you run the risk of running a roadblock by accident. In the same way, they may not have a sign. You'll have a row of, say, 10 policemen at the side of the road, <laughs> and none of them are wearing high-vis or anything. So you just suddenly get like them in your headlights, and it's like, pull over. You've got to put your brakes on. Just be aware of it because you don't want to be running any of the, running past any of these guys because you could get yourself in trouble. I have run one in the past, but I was actually going past it about 70 miles an hour. So it was a case of I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. Uh, not with the braking system on the car I had at the time. And I picked a bad spot to put the uh, roadblock. But I wouldn't advise anybody to do do the same thing. Um, I was in a car at the time as well, which, like I said, they're mainly looking for the motorcyclists um, because the passengers are the ones that do the assassinations because what they'll do is they'll ride up the side of a car and shoot the driver of the car through the window or they'll shoot somebody at the side of a street. In the same way, when the robberies happen, it's normally motorcyclists you, you see the stuff on youtube where people steal people's motorbikes they'll rob stores or whatever it's normally on a motorbike so i just want people to be aware of that um don't mess around with the roadblocks because you've got a risk of being shot by accident even like i said i ran one by accident because i didn't even see them you know it, it was like literally there was a checkpoint there as i went past because <laughs> i couldn't see them in the dark all right thanks for watching